Hey guys, so here's a quick video for you on Bank to Binary. As you can see, here is my account. I created it on the 30th of January 2016. I've deposited $113,250 and I have $3.70 left. Yeah, thanks Jim from Bank to Binary. Here's a few others. Now, other people from the company started calling me on the 4th of February. You can see it. He says, no, it's not us, no. Here's the next one, call from Jim Young. Oh, and then he pointed out during a 43 minute phone call where I can get my superannuation fund changed to a self-managed super fund so that he can get his hands on it. Thanks, Jim. And then down here, he pushes me to put more money in. It is ridiculous. And then ANZ Fraud Squad ring and he says they are fraud. Well, that's a load of rubbish. We all know that. And then he says, here, let's have a nice little nickname. Call me baby, whatever. And I play along. I go, are you my rich husband? Yeah, sure, we'll get work married. And then it goes on and says, Push the lazy super, we hate park money. What he really wants is the money from my shares that I've sold because he's convinced me in a one hour, 15 minute phone call to put it in because it's such a good investment with his company. Very, very stupid. Do not do what I do, people. He just pushes more, more, more. Here's another one. If you're asked to increase the line of credit on your card, will your bank allow? I go, uh, I have no job. You know I haven't got a job. What about mummy? Ah, and then pushed me two to three minutes. Eh, what a load of shit. Do I have 10 to 15K? No, I do not, but he keeps pushing. Now he asks for an email to say how happy I am with the service. Oh, okay. Oh, a promotion for you, sure, Jim. And then he tells me after a session that goes to 1.30 a.m. that I had the wrong husband. And he tells me to take my shirt off and feel comfortable. Ha 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 ha, you're a fool. And then we go, lessons for today. He taught me how to do a double chart for a hedge bet. It's a load of shit, don't try it. And then trade without a shirt and still prefers uh, no shirt and asks if I will turn on the webcam. Ah, yeah, you're funny, mate. You're really funny, let me tell you. And then he says, the time difference on my trade is really bad and I can't help it. Shit, I'm fucked. Doggy, he says. Uh, I'll be the only one to do it, he says. Oh, Jim. I'm so used to it. It just rolls off my back. You fool. And another one. Take your shirt off. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, did I take my shirt off? No, I never take my shirt off. And then he says, turn on the camera. Nice one. I am no internet slag. I can't take my shirt off in front of a camera. Ah, oh, fool. And then another request for, he needs money. And I say, I am seriously panicking about my cash flow. And don't I have a kidney? Sell it. And I tell him about this poor guy on the news the other day. Uh, he really did sell his kidney. And Jim just starts laughing at it. Nice one, Jim. Well done. And then he admits, we're taking a risk now, but we need to because he's lost all my bloody money. Then he asks me, for a YouTube video. So I'm making you a YouTube video, Jim. It's just not the one you expected. And then I ask him, how does the commission work? Because I need to know how much his company has made and I've got $3.70 left. He says the payout, 80 to 20. So I've worked it out. They made over 234,000 on that way. But Evelina from Complaints says, no, that's not how it works, does she? I complain, I say my account has been mishandled, I have unsuitable advice, and they give me an invalid reference number for CySEC. Thank you very much, the Cypress Securities and Exchange Commission, I cannot complain to them because I have not got a valid number. 
and here we have busted severely uh, off exchange trading yeah look spotoption.com is where they all have their platforms they're all the same and here we have Nathan asking uh, he's from the recovery department and uh, so far he's found the way my trades have been placed is far from satisfactory really Nathan really oh my goodness you must be could you really must be kidding I, I just can't get over it this is stressing me out everybody should attack Nathan and Jim all right I have no more words to say because I am dead broke bye